Texas, affordable housing is in high demand in East Tennessee, of course, and in Blount County. Job opportunities are bringing even more people to the area. Six on your side reporter Ella Wales has more on an upcoming project that may help ease some of that housing demand. More than $800,000 from the Tennessee Housing Development Agency is going to fund several new single family homes here in Blount County. We have uh, a bunch of jobs that we've brought into the area, which is a tremendous thing, uh, but with jobs come housing needs, right? We have to house these folks. The grant will help the Foothills Community Development Corporation meet that demand, starting a ripple effect of new homes. It's going to build four homes, and then once those homeowners move in and get their mortgages, it's going to build four more homes, and so the money just continues to cycle to build more and more homes to benefit Blount County. The profits that come from selling the homes will be put towards the next round of construction. However, these homes still aim to be affordable. The grant will allow FCDC to provide down payment assistance to new homeowners. The houses that we build are more expensive than we want them to be, right? Just due to the building costs and what it takes to build a house, it just is expensive to do. So having down payment assistance enables us to sell it for less than sometimes what it even costs to build the home. Two of the new homes will be built on Heritage Crossing Drive near existing FCDC homes. The other two will be built on Martha Neoma Street. The homes will be available to families and individuals who qualify. There are income qualifications uh, based on max income, and that changes year to year. Uh, right now, it's about $72,000 a year for like a household of four. So a mom, dad, two kids, around $72,000 a year is the max income requirement. FCDC also has partners to assist home buyers with credit challenges so they can meet mortgage requirements. In Blunt County, Ella Wales, six on your side. Now, construction on the four homes will begin this year and is expected to be completed in about nine months. A lot of families happy to hear yeah. about this. FCDC, by the way, was one of two organizations statewide to get the grant and can reapply next year.